All right, now, market aside, does the U.S. economy need a second stimulus? Economists continue to discuss whether or not the $787 billion stimulus package President Obama signed into law last February was too small. Nairman Barabesh, chief economist at IHS Global Insight, joins us live from Lexington, Massachusetts, with, to weigh in uh, with his thoughts. And, and Nairman, let me ask you, first of all, I mean, we're still looking at unemployment of over 10 percent. A lot of people are forecasting we hold on to that uh, even throughout next year. Do you think that we haven't done enough with the first stimulus package? Well, I think the answer is we have done enough. It's a huge package. We've only seen about 20 percent of it. So I think it's a little premature from an economic perspective to say that we need to do more. Politically, it's a very different story. I think there are a lot of people on, on Capitol Hill is scared in terms of the reelection. So politically, there's a strong motivation to do this. Economically, I'm not so sure. What do you mean, Nairman, not so sure? Well, in the sense that, as I said, we've only seen about 20 percent of it. That 20 percent already has had an impact. And we think without it, growth would have been maybe 2 percent lower in the third quarter, probably another 2 percent lower in the fourth quarter. So it's had an effect, a positive effect. Um, so I'm not sure we need to do more at this point. I think we need to let the economy recover. There's a lot coming, remember, in 2010. Probably got a $500 billion or so, maybe $400 billion in, in 2010 that's out there and on its way, so to speak. So I think right. it's a little early to be talking about second stimulus. Having said that, the president initially thought that the jobless rate would peak at about 8.1 percent. We've certainly gone uh, beyond that. So maybe the stimulus that they've laid out really isn't working. I, I don't buy that. I think that that number was wildly optimistic. No private fork, forecaster was saying that. But they put what that. We were but they, but they, that but they put the, it out there, right? Well, look, come on. You know, rosy scenario is alive and well. Thank you very much. I mean, that's what that's what all the, all these administrations do, Republican and Democratic. They put out very optimistic forecasts, and that's what this administration did. So I don't think we should take that and somehow or other jump from that to saying, well, it didn't do what it was supposed to do. I think that number is, again, too optimistic. L let me ask you, Linda Ehrman, what you think is going to happen rather than what you think uh, should happen here. Christina Romer has gone on record saying that the stimulus we've got out already, 20 percent spent or not, is going to do as much as it possibly can for growth. She said it's not going to add to growth at all next year. Uh, and we're already at the administration's worst case scenario from the stress test for unemployment. Do you think they're going to try uh, at least attempt another stimulus package? It's possible. Again, I think the motivation on this one is largely going to be political um, in the sense that I think, you know, there's a lot of worries about what this upcoming midterm election season might look like if the unemployment rate, as we're saying, is going to be hovering around 10 percent. That's not good news for the Democrats in particular. So I think there will be a big push. All I'm saying is I'm not sure we need it since we've only seen about 20 percent and there's more to come. All right, we've got to run. Hey, Nairman, thank you so much. Uh, Nairman uh, Bervish joining us to talk about whether or not we need another stimulus plan.